All right, quick question. Do you say aluminum or aluminium? Turns out both are totally legit. In the US, it's aluminum. Across the pond, it's aluminium. Same shiny metal, just a bonus eye for style. Let's talk discovery. Aluminum was first isolated in 1825 by a Danish chemist, Hans Christian Ørsted. Back then, it was so rare, it was considered more precious than gold. Napoleon III of France even had a set of aluminum cutlery reserved for his fanciest guests, while everyone else had to settle for, you know, plain old gold. Fast forward. Now, aluminum's everywhere. Why? It's super light, resists rust, and is pretty easy to shape. If you've ever wrapped leftovers in foil, popped open a soda can, or cooked with a shiny pan, you've used aluminum. But here's where it gets seriously cool. Aluminum is the backbone of aerospace. Planes, rockets, satellites, they all rely on this metal to soar because it's strong but weighs way less than steel. Without aluminum, our dreams of flying or exploring space would still be just that, dreams. And fun fact, aluminum is 100% recyclable. The can you drink from today could be back on the shelf in just 60 days. So next time you see that silvery shine, remember, you're looking at the metal that changed the world, whether you call it aluminum or aluminium. If you learned something new, hit that red subscribe button below. Don't forget the bell. I've got more science stories coming your way, and you won't want to miss them. See you in the next one.